Y'all see that? As he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. Just as John taught his disciples. He came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Who has all power? Jesus, Jesus has all power in heaven and in earth. Now he says, I'm going to empower you. Okay, let's watch this. Go ye therefore, hold it, Jesus. How are you going to empower me if you, unless you got the power to delegate to me? Then he tells them to go wait till this promise come, come upon them. What was the promise? The promise they're going to receive power. power. The power is coming because of the Holy Ghost. The word power is what I'm trying to get you to hold on to. Jesus said, all power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. All right. Then he said, now you go and, and, and operate in this power that I'm giving you. He told them, you're about to get the Father's power. The same power that Jesus walked in when Satan tried to take over him and he had to bow down. Do you know what time it is? Or are you walking around like you got plenty time? Two sets of times. The word is chronos and kairos. Chronos is chronological time. Certain events has to happen before this happened. Then there's chaos. You can have a chaos collision. Dr. Vernon loves to say that, amen. That's when all kind of good things happen at the same time. The chaos means timing. It is where you take the baseball bat. You up there waiting. My man gonna throw the bat ball, and you gotta swing at the right in order to hit the home run. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons. So he's telling them this. If, if I reveal to you the time and I reveal to you the timing and then the season, what's the season? When the season comes, you got to know that's the season. This ain't the season for you to back up, quit, cave in. This is the season for you to dig deep. Because the Holy Ghost is about to give you some power to help you tread over the top.